My name's Deirdre Sidaway. I'm a Respiratory Nurse Specialist in Primary Care working in Ipswich, Suffolk and also on the Committee of the Association of Respiratory Nurse Specialists. This is part six of a six-part series when we've been looking at the things we must remember in order to provide a quality, structured asthma review. And this time we're going to look at personal asthma action plans. These have been recommended for many years in the BTS sign guideline and yet the National Review of Asthma Deaths, which was published in May this year, found that only 23% of people who died from asthma in the report had a personal asthma action plan. 45% of those who died, died before they sought medical assistance or before it arrived. We must provide our patients with the knowledge and tools to prevent this from happening. There are excellent personal asthma action plans available on the Asthma UK website. Select the one which is the most appropriate for your patients. Make sure you explain it clearly and that your patient understands it. Consider the language that you will use and decide whether a patient is more likely to follow a plan which is symptom or peak flow led. We must alert our patients to the red flags. For adults, if the salbutamol is not helping, if they're unable to complete a sentence in one breath, or if they're having increasing symptoms of cough or chest tightness. For children, the same with adults, in addition to the paradoxical breathing, intercostal recession, tracheal tug and nasal flaring. Always follow up after an acute episode. This is also an excellent opportunity to re-educate and remind the patient how to recognise the signs of acute asthma as well as making sure they've recovered from their attack. The PCRS have produced this post-acute asthma care bundle which is a practice improvement worksheet which is really useful. So, in summary, it's not just the personal asthma action plan that saves patients' lives, it's the discussion around it. Be clear about symptom severity and exactly what the patient needs to do. People die every day from asthma and we really can help patients to recognise the danger signs.